Look at how you can configure airways in an aircraft which has a G1000 uh, Garmin navigation system, right? Be aware that since sim update number 10, all the aircrafts which are having a G1000 are now using the G1000 NXI, which is the far more advanced one compared to the G1000, which is default uh, in flight simulator. Uh, so there are some changes, so be aware of that. So how to do it? Well. First of all, we need to configure our origin, right? So currently uh, we're located at a nice airport, uh, somewhere in the US. Uh, it's uh, Kilo India Papa Lima, right? So if we use the uh, small knob, we can turn the knob here and the large knob will move it to the next position, right? Let me zoom in a little bit further. Uh, so this is the large knob, this is the small knob, and then we simply go to the next letter and then move another position and then use a small one to uh, find the letter that we need. Oh. Did I use the correct one? No. I moved this one. This one needs to be India. India. Papa Lima. Whoa, one position. Imperial County Airport. So now we hit enter, then we don't select the runway yet. You can do it by using the uh, small knob here, right? You can select the runway if you want to do it. Uh, in some cases that's useful, right? Uh, but in, in Norway or in our situation, we don't do it. Uh, then we've got, of course, the end route and the destination, right? So you can use the large knob to move around from the uh, top. Uh, to the bottom and the airport we're gonna fly to is uh, Kila, Kilo Lima of uh, X-Ray which is uh, Los Angeles so let's move back one position Kilo Lima and then Alpha X-Ray I can also turn it the other cycle, right? So you can also turn it the other around. That's sometimes quicker. Uh, so now we've got everything, right? So we also don't select a runway here, but then we are with the end routes. And the end routes is, okay, when we, once we took off, right, we can configure a specific route which we want to fly. Of course, there are also the procedures, right? The departure procedure and the approach procedure, uh, which you will find under the uh, proc buttons. Uh, so, for example, if you take off from runway 8, you can select the uh, procedure to follow the departure for runway 8 and then, let's say, continue to your en route waypoint. In this case, we're going to, I would say, skip the departure uh, uh, procedure and uh, we're going to directly dive into the next waypoint, which is IPL, right? India Papa Lima, which is one of the waypoints we need to use. Uh, so, we're going to add over here. India, Whoa. India, Whoa. Papa Lima, which is the ILS GS Cat 3 for runway 28 Romeo. That's the uh, one of the runways from this airport. Uh, and then you need to make sure that you select the correct one. So in this case, we want to use the bottom one, uh, which is the correct, uh, let's say, VOR beacon. And then you will see it turns around. Now here comes the trick. Normally what you would do is start turning the knobs again, right? To configure the next waypoint. In this situation, we want to use an airway. And to figure out which airways are available, you need to do the following. You press the menu button. The menu button shows the option load airway. And once you hit enter, it will show, hey, IPL, which is the entry point. And the entry point is the first waypoint, uh, which is part of the airway. And now you see this one blinking. In some situations, you see that 
it will populate the I, uh, the entry point, but it doesn't start blinking. If it doesn't start blinking, the I would say entry point is not really an entry point of an airway. And I've, I would say I played around with it, uh, for, I would say trying it uh, on different airports. Uh, one of them is Rotterdam, the Hague Airport. And according to Simbrief, there should be an airway. But what I figured out that there, I would say, for some reason it doesn't work in Flight Simulator. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's, I would say, an outdated uh, airway which is not used anymore, but simply doesn't work. In this case, for this airport, it works. So don't be surprised if uh, you experience the same thing. I think it's due to the navigation database, maybe. Still trying to figure that out. So for this one, you can see it's blinking, which is good news because then we can use the small knob to select the airway which we want to use. Well, if I uh, look at Simbrief, uh, which I did, I would say, prior to preparing this video, then we can select V vector 458, which is the correct arrow which we need, and then press enter. Then it says loading, and then you can define the exit. What's the last waypoint uh, which we need to visit? And that's also configurable, right? So you can, for example, follow it for a specific, I would say, part, and then, the, and, say, and then deviate again to another runway. But in this case, what you can do is simply scroll down and you can see that it's in order of the, uh, let's say, airway. And then at the end, it will show you uh, the latest uh, based on what I figured out. Uh, so we're going to go down and then select B, Z, A, Bravo Zulu Alpha is the last one. Of course, you always need to use the one which is I would say available in your flight plan, which you can, for example, create with Simbrief. Once you found the correct one, you simply hit enter and then it will ask you, hey, do you want to load it? Well, we want to load it. So we're gonna move to load using the large knob and then hit enter again. And then it has added the airway. So if we now go to the uh, plan again, you can see that we've got the original airport, then we've got IPL, which is the first uh, VOR which we need to uh, travel to, and then it will follow the airway. Airway Victor 458.bza Bravo Zulu Alpha, and it will include the individual waypoints which are part of the uh, airway, and then this one BZA, that's the last entry point which we choose to exit, and then it will follow the uh, we'll say remaining VR beacons, uh, if you define them, of course. But in our scenario, we didn't define anything, right? You can see that there's nothing behind this. It's directly uh, Kilo Lima Alpha X-ray, but yeah, not important for now. So that's how you can use Airways in Flight Simulator 2020 using the G1000 NXI. It should work for all the aircrafts having the G1000 NXI, right? We now use the uh, let's say left small pane to configure it. But there's also an option, of course, to use the uh, right screen. You know, I'm using the, uh, the Cessna 172, uh, which has the same options, only then on a bigger screen. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.